Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be making strawberry banana frozen yogurt with just three ingredients. And we're gonna make that with just our Ninja Foodi Power Blender. So you ready? Let's get into this. For ingredients, we're gonna need some Kroger Low Fat Carb Master Yogurt. We're using the vanilla flavor to save on ingredients. Some fresh strawberries. And of course, our bananas. For this recipe, we're gonna be using our Ninja Foodi Blender instead of an ice cream maker. So what we're gonna to need to do is slice up the bananas and dice the strawberries. Then we're gonna put them into covered containers and put them in the freezer for a couple of hours to get them nice and firm. For this recipe, the longer you leave them in there, the better it's gonna turn out. But two to three hours should be plenty of time. If you wanna try out this recipe, all the ingredients and measurements are down in the description of the video, along with the calorie count, the protein, the carbohydrates, and the fat. We actually waited about three and a half hours and gave it plenty of time for all this stuff to get nice and hard. And all we gotta do from here is go ahead and load up our blender cup. You can use a single serving cup, but I'm using the smoothie bowl maker. I'm using this because it's gonna be really thick and I'm gonna have to use this dial up here to keep everything moving around in here so I'm not having to shake this cup up. Conversely, if you don't have one of these or a single serving cup, you can just use your regular blender. But just keep in mind that if you do that, you're gonna be mixing it quite a bit or using a tamper or something like that. Okay, so first we're gonna be loading up our bananas here. Then our strawberries. We're only gonna use about half of the strawberries that we cut though. And then our yogurt goes in last. Normally wouldn't load this thing up this full, but we're gonna walk on the wild side a little bit here. Then from here, the lid goes on, and then we're ready to blend. All right, this goes up on top, turn on the power. And in this case, if you're using the Ninja Foodi Power Blender, you're gonna to wanna to put this on the bowl setting. Then all you gotta do is start it up and keep this thing twisting up here. Keep in mind, you may not wanna run a full cycle. You're gonna to have to play it by ear and watch the texture of your yogurt just to be sure that it doesn't get too soft. By the way, if this is your first time here and you wanna learn some cool new recipes, get some great cooking tips and tricks and all sorts of other kitchen related things, and start now by subscribing to the channel and clicking the notification bell so you never miss a thing. And just like that, we're done blending. Now this part is up to you. It just kind of depends on how you like the texture. The texture out of the blender is gonna look like this, which is about a soft serve ice cream. In our case, this is gonna go back in the freezer for just a little bit, just because we want this to be a little more firm like an ice cream. So we'll go ahead and pour this into a bowl here. Now, when we blended this up, we left a small portion of our strawberries out of the mix. That way, we can pour them into the mixture here, mix it up, and you'd have chunks of strawberry in there. So we're gonna go ahead and throw those in here now. Mix these up really good. Then we're gonna cover this back up and put it back into the freezer. Six months later. All right, it's been about two hours. We actually left this in the freezer a little bit longer just to make sure it got frozen up really well. And it looks like we are ready to plate. If you'd like to learn a little bit more about us, you can check out a couple more videos or you can check us out online at joesphenomenal.com. If you like banana recipes, we also have a banana walnut frozen Greek yogurt recipe that we did with our Cuisinart ice cream maker. And we'll go ahead and link that up right over here if you'd like to check that out. You can do that recipe in your blender also, but you have to take the same steps where you've put this into the freezer once you get done just to firm it up a little bit. Other than that, it should work out just about the same. I thank you so much for taking a little bit of time out of your busy day to watch this video. It really means a lot to me and I hope to see you back again here really soon. So until next time, once again, I'm Joe, and I hope you have a phenomenal day. Take it easy.